written in Hebrew, right? Okay? Sure. Hebrew, okay? Now, uh, let's, I'm going to tell you this. When I first came into the study, I, I learned that I learned more in my first two hours mm -hmm. than I had learned my entire life about God. Mm -hmm. and, and when I say that, I mean, I knew about God, but I didn't have a knowledge of God. I didn't have an understanding of how He works and, 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 and everything else. So I've always wanted to. Very important, because we had a zeal for God. You see what I'm saying? Zeal. We had a zeal. We wanted to know about it. You know what I mean? But it was not what? According to knowledge. Right. That's all. It's okay. See, it says Romans, for I bear them record that I, they have a zeal of God, mm -hmm. but not according to knowledge. Right. For they being ignorant of God's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. There it is. See? That's where we were. We had a zeal. But it wasn't a comparing to knowledge. See? See? We wanted to know. See? See, my people, they, they know my voice. See? Just like the sheep. See? See, it's like a shepherd. Do you know sheep know the shepherd's voice when they're reading the flock? Yeah. See? And we're sheep. See? You, it, it, this that did not happen haphazard. Yahweh has called you in to know the truth. That's right. And the truth will set you free. The choice is up to you. You can walk out this room and say, hey, look, I got it. And I'm going to keep doing the things that I'm doing. That's fine. Okay? But I'm telling you, Yahweh said, I am not slack concerning my promise. That's right. He said he is taking vengeance on all them that know him not. Google that for me, someone. Get that scripture for me, guys. Google that. Pay attention. Google. Is it? Am I reading Oh, okay. No, we're not working. Oh, we're not Google. Uh, okay. Well, then, then, then we have to, we, we're having limited uh, internet service here. But hey, slow. Look that scripture up. Hey, how are you doing? I'm glad you made it. Uh, okay, so, all right, where are we at up here? Titus 1, 2, faith, knowledge, Okay. All right, so let's let's go to uh, John uh, 14 and 13. And I will do whatever you ask in my name. See, what does he say? And I will do whatever you ask in my name. Mm -hmm. Keep on. So that the Son may bring glory to the Father. Yes. Mm. You may ask me for anything in my name, yes. right. and I will do it. Right. John 14. So if the power is, so what the adversary wants us to do is not have to that. And, and you got to understand his power in that name. We want you to use that name on Yahweh. Yahweh wants you to use that name. It's just like when Teresa was sitting there and I asked, I said, I couldn't read it. And I said, Teresa, and she said, no, treasure him. She did it quick. Yeah, there's no Come on now. How, see, didn't the scripture say do unto others as you want them to do unto you? So if, if you don't want no one calling you out of your name, then the Father doesn't want it either. Come on. That's what it is. What it is, is that's done, that's, 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 that's a man's name, that's a man's name, and the man say, come to me, you know, go to God. He say, the man say, I do what God do. That's, that's what that scripture say. If you don't read that scripture for what it say, you will never read the Bible for what it is. The scripture say, men say, come to me, and I go to the Lord. I go to God. No, <laughs> and, 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 you want to go to the source. You want to go to the source. And, 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 yeah, you don't want to come to any man. And, 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 but, and, 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 and then it say, say he, he want to give 
God the glory. What 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 glory in what you ask? Ain't no glory in what you ask. But he say he want to give God the glory, bring God the glory, and let you keep asking. You know, and, and this is what you clarify. This is what you glorify. I say, hey, Amen. If, 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 if you accept it, you understand confusion. And if you understand confusion, you have no question about murder, chaos, and corruption. And that's what that is, man. And I like back in the day, back in the day of the of that right, no one believed. But go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Hey, man, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, this is what y'all showing. This is what y'all talking about. No one's no one's really believing today. Because <laughs> you know, that's how it is, guys. And stay right there. Stay right there. Okay. Here's what it is: is that they didn't believe him back then, just like they're not believing him today. Yes. Because that's why they crucified him. Because they crucified him. What was the reason why? Because he said he was Yahweh. So no, I'm, I'm just telling you what the scripture said, the Bible. But uh, you're, you're right about they're not believing today. They weren't believing no. back then, and, and that's why he says. And I'm going to ask everyone, please hold all your questions. I'm going to leave 15 minutes right. to the end, and then uh, mm -hmm. you can bombard me with questions. I love them because we want you to know for sure. We don't want you just to believe right? because uh, uh, you can believe a lot. Right. right in that word believe is L-I-E. Right. You can believe a lot. See? And we're not going to believe any lies here because we want we want you to know the truth because what? The truth is going to set you free. Free. Right? Okay, what scripture did I have yet? John uh, 14. Yep, okay. 14, 13, please. And whatsoever ye shall uh, ask in my name, uh -huh. that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Right, so whatever you ask, see, in the Father's name, see, see you'll be glorified. That's it. See, it's power in that name, see. And, and, and I'm going to tell you, man, I've used it. 23 years I came into this teaching uh, back in Michigan. And uh, I remember uh, how, how shocked I was. And, but immediately I felt it. I, I, I knew I was in the truth. And, and I, I didn't even go to work that next day. I, I just had to study it. And we, we didn't have internet. We couldn't Google. So we went to the library. And I, I started reading about Yahweh and how the Jews knew the name Yahweh. And they called him Adonai, see, Lord. See, they didn't want, the name was so powerful that they didn't want to use the name. See. But see, there's power in that name. It's just like, let me tell you guys something. You know what I mean? If you guys were going to a Beyonce concert or any type of concert, let's say, okay, and and, and I worked there, right, and, and I'm running the crew in the back, and, and I said, hey, just just ask for Aaron when you get there, you'll get in, right? <laughs> it's important to have that name right, right? Yeah. Other than that, you're not going to get in. It's just like this phone. How many times, you know, I, I can pass this around, but you guys don't know my password. You're not getting in. It's important to know. Life eternal, see, that's why John 17, 1 through 3. See, uh, a lot of people say, well, you got to be baptized to Jesus Christ. You got to do this, you got to do that. No, it says life eternal is to know the only true God in Yahshua's life. That's what it says. And, and the beautiful thing about it, it was written from Yahshua. So if you read that, that right. if you had a red edition Bible, that would be in red. Right. Now, here's the thing. How can you ever obtain anything if you don't know how or where to go? See? We didn't have that. If, if you didn't have that scripture in your head before learning about this, guess what? You, 
you can't obtain anything that you don't know. See, the thing is, is guess what? It, hey, it, let's look at it like this. Let's say if I hid $25 in this room, right? Nobody knows where I hid it at. Everyone will walk out. Okay. But he knows where I hid it. So I better get it to it before he does, okay? But I want to show you that so that you understand. Guys, the name truly is Yahweh. The title that Yahweh chose for himself, which is a pluralistic title, Elohim, word or son. Yahshua, meaning Yahweh is salvation. This letter J did not come into existence until 400 years. It would have been impossible for his name to be called Jesus Christ. And see, Yahweh is pure spirit. In this stage, he's uncomprehensible, just like the air into this room. We cannot see the air in this room. No. Because I'm going to tell you, there was a day, man, I'm going to tell you, a lot of things happened to me when I was young. My mom died at 15. You know, mm -hmm. we had to grow up in Detroit, me and my brother, by ourselves. They were threatening to put us in uh, some foster care home because we weren't old enough. And I was mad at God. I said, well, if there is a God, then why doesn't he come and exist? And, and, and why isn't he just back in old times? But see, I didn't understand all that, see? Mm -hmm. So one day he showed me. He gave me his name. He showed me what was going on. And he said, with stammering lips in another tongue, should I speak to his people? And that's going over and over and over again. History is repeating itself. You've got to see a death, burial, resurrection. Why? Because Yahshua died, buried, and resurrected for us. Mm -hmm. So in your life, what do you see? Good times. Bad times. What do you do when you go to bed? That's like a death. You, you lay down. You get covered. We're covered, right? And then you awake. That's like a resurrection. That's a death, burial, resurrection. See, all our life we've been doing things that we didn't even know. Testifying to Joshua, see? That he died, buried, and resurrected. See? You can't see the air in this room, but it exists. You can't see Yahweh, but he exists. Because let me help you with this. You can't have a house without a building. You can't have a car without a car maker. You cannot have a creation without a creator. <coughs> so let's get that straight, okay? So now that we have a creator, now Yahweh said that his people are destroyed because of a lack of knowledge. Let's get that scripture. So we don't want to be destroyed. This is why we call this Profound Knowledge 101. Wait a minute. I, I'm going to tell you, I... I, I was in, not, not to say anything about, I'm not bashing uh, any other religions or churches or anything no, else. No. But I'm saying that at this time and age, we need a higher learning. Okay? Mm -hmm. Because if they're not teaching you these things, Teach. then you don't need to be there. You need to be wherever you're getting the true knowledge. See, it says here, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also will reject you from being a priest for me. Because you have forgotten the terror of your Elohim, I also will forget your children. See? So Yahweh said that he has given us, we're given the knowledge. See? Uh, let's, uh, let me get this, because I'm, I'm hoping that people are getting the scriptures, and, and uh, um, uh, let's, let's go over to uh, uh, Matthew 24 and 11, okay? Because it's important for us to know that Yahweh told us that many false prophets and many teachers have gone out in the world, you see? The scripture exists, guys. And many false prophets shall rise. Yes. And shall deceive many. Okay, let's See. stop there. Let's, let's, let's look at that. It says many false prophets shall rise. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I, I, I'm just telling you, three quarters of the world are Christians, right? Many false prophets shall rise and deceive what? Many. Deceive. Yeah. Deceive a few. Yeah. Many. Deceive them how? Let, let me tell you. How many of you guys watch football? What, what's the object of football? Win the game. Touchdown. Winning the game, right? Okay. Touchdown. Touchdown. Okay, so the other team is to what? Keep the other team out of the end zone, right? Right. What's the job of the adversary? Because guess what? Remember, Yahweh said he was perfect in his ways. Right? Send you to the lake. Right. <laughs> to send you to the lake. Yeah. Let me tell you, if I was going to win this game, and I know that the, the, the Bible said in Acts 4 and 12, neither does salvation come in any other name except for one. Well, what would I deceive you of? The name. And I will win. See, keep you out of the end zone, I win. Keep you out of the name, I win. Okay? Okay? Because all this Bible had to do is just change the words, see? And we see them changing all the time. I'm going to show you a most recent change in one of these Bibles. I bet I know this too. Right here. It says the Holy Bible contains the Old and New Testament. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Now cameraman, can you can you get can, if I get this closer, I want to just to, I'm gonna come and show you the two differences of the Bibles here. Yep. Okay, this one you see has a little bit more language there, right? Read that language there. And then this one is missing that language, right? You see there? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me show you how important this language is. That the Gideons took out of their Bible, they put them in every hotel. This, here it is, okay? It says the Old and New Testament. You see that there? And that's it, right? Mm -hmm. But it used to say this. The Old and New Testament containing, see? Trans okay, containing the Old and New Testament translated out of the original tongue. Right there. Well, how important is that? Well, it's right. important because if you're going to do some checking or you're going to do some research, right. See, it's important to know that the Bible had an original tongue, see? Right. And that tongue was Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Okay? And with and, and, and the Bible's going to tell you what they did. Mm -hmm. They changed it. It says, and with former translations. What does tra to translate mean? Change. To change. Look it up in the dictionary. Change. Diligently compared and revised. What does revise mean? Again. Change again. Yeah. So that means they changed it out of the Bible, and then they changed it and took it out of there so that you couldn't even read it. And they changed the name, just like that. Okay. And uh, so, okay. Back to the Bible. So here it is. There it is up there on the screen. Or you, that's been taken out of a lot of Bibles now. Okay. All right. So, what happened here, we see Yahweh just came out of pure spirit, see, and in this form, Elohim, super incorporeal form, mm -hmm. manifested in visions to Moses, see, mm -hmm. and all the other prophets. And even to Henry C. Kennedy, who had a divine vision in Revelation in 1931. And see, was manifested in the flesh. See? Yeah. It says Joshua, physical form, manifested in the flesh. Let's get that. John 1 and 1. Someone get me John 1 and 1. We're going to read it through. Because you know what? I, I'm going to tell you something. And, and Larry, I, I found this hard to fetch because I thought. 
Jesus was Yahweh's son, or God's son. Come find out that was Yahweh in the Bible. Just like manifesting. Just like Ford did. Did Ford get in his own car? Or did he not? He just let everybody else drive. No, he came in and got in his creation. Because it's following the same pattern. Nothing changed. Okay? So here it is, John 1 and 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Okay, so in the beginning was the Word. Okay? Everyone follow that? Yep. Right here. In the beginning was the Word. And what do we use words for? Expression. To express ourselves. So this is Yahweh's expression in this form and state. See? In the beginning was the Word. Okay? Now I want you to remember this. Okay? The Word. Now let's just keep going. And the Word was with God, Elam. Mm -hmm. And the Word was Elam. Okay, so listen to this. The Word was with God, or Yahweh, see? And the Word was Yahweh, right? Is that what it says? That's what it says, right? Okay, let's do it. Keep going. The same was in the beginning with God, or Elam. Now, now here, I'm going to tell you something. They say it's not what goes in the man that defiles the man, but what comes out of the man. Okay? He said that if they don't speak according to this word, mm -hmm. then there's no light in them. Okay? It's very, very important. Because what? Many false prophets have gone out in the world. Right? You would, it says in the Bible, it says you would know them by their testimony. See? Keep going. All right. Three. Mm -hmm. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made. Okay, made. before we go on any further, Yahweh and word is one and the same. Everything was made by Yahweh and Elohim, right? Yes. Can we all agree to that? Everything. Okay, everyone out there in the universe that's watching us from, from Minnesota to... Chicago, our friends in Detroit, everywhere. Can we all agree on that? Yes. yes. Okay, kill him. Let's go. Keep going. Four. Mm -hmm. In him was life. In him was life. Okay. And the life was the light of men. And life and light is synonymous to what? Understand. understand. Right? Because mm -hmm. if I say, do you see what I mean? I understand. You understand. But he doesn't see what I'm saying, right? No. He understands. So seeing, see, Visual and understanding up here is one and the same. Because why? Romans 1, 19 and 20 says you can take the physical to understand spiritual. Yeah. Nothing happened haphazard. Nothing will no. break the pattern. Kim, come on. Give it to me. Come on. Woo. And the light shineth in darkness. The light shineth in darkness. And guess what? The darkness did not comprehend it. Didn't I tell you I was reading the Bible and it wasn't comprehending anything? I didn't understand that. Do you know John is the most read book in the world? Yeah. Then how come they didn't know Yahweh and Yahshua was one and the same? They weren't reading. They weren't, they were reading, but they weren't comprehending. And it's just the vision and speak and Terry. Go and Terry, wait for it. You will not what? Lie. It's not lying today, guys. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Five. Yes. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. We were all in darkness. Let me tell you how it was. Because it started off in Genesis. Mm -hmm. The earth was indated in darkness, and it was indated in water. And Yahweh's spirit, water, and that's what? The water's got to roll back. Yes, yes sir. Yes, because everything is following that same pattern. Nothing that changed from the pattern. Nothing. You see, the earth's doing the same thing that humans got to do. Humans got to do the same thing that the earth's got to do. And we all have to come to an understanding of Yahweh right. if we want eternal life. Right. Because guess what? If you don't come, 
It's just like Hosea said. My people are destroyed because what? A lack of knowledge. Not, not because they have a lot of knowledge. A lack. Right? Yep. Keep reading. Six. Yes. There was a man sent from God, Elohim, yes. whose name was John. That same came for a witness. To right. Guess what, guys? We're all John sitting here. Yes. We're the witnesses. Yes. We're here to bear witness of Yahshua the Messiah. Yep. We're not that light. I'm not Yahshua. I'm not the one that can save you. I'm not your savior. No. I got faults too. I need to be saved too. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm doing the work that I'm doing. I'm giving away freely. This event costs over a thousand dollars. Came out of my pocket and his pocket and some of the people in this class pocket. Yes. Free for a few people to come in here to get an understanding. I'm not making 150,000 miles like a lot of ministers are doing now. I'm giving away free. And, I, and we came to fill the seats. But it's, 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 it's going according to the pattern. What it says, what? Few there be that find it. Right. Keep going. Keep reading. To bear witness of the yes. light. Yes. That all men through him might believe. That all men through him might believe what? The truth. Go ahead. He was not that light, but was set to bear witness of that light. See, we're not that light for what? We're to hear the what? Bear witness of that light. That was the true light. Yes. Which lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Okay. That's the true light that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Okay, go ahead. And he... He was in the world, and the world was made by him. Wait a minute! And he was in the world, and the world was what? Sorry, made by him. And guess what? It's going to say, I'm going to tell you what it's going to say before it says, she says it. And the world knew him not. Read it! And the world knew him not. But he came that? unto his own, and his own received him not. And we see people walk out the world. His own received him not. Mm -hmm. It says it. I mean, he was in the world. So what part of that is that God's son? That he is the son. See, it's just like me. I could be a father, a son. Can I? Yeah. Because I'm a son of my father, and I have a son. Right. So I'm a father and a son. The thing was, is that he was the same one as Yahshua, see? And, and now the question here is said that, where is God? God is in you. The only difference of it before this day is I was conscious of it. And you might not be. You know what I mean? Because I know I wasn't. I always thought God was somewhere up there. But he's actually in us. See, there's a scripture that says that know ye not that you are the temple and not your own. See, Yahweh exists in you. He's in each and every one of us. He animates the body. Because once the spirit leaves, then, then you cease to exist. How many times have we been to funerals? I remember going to my own mom's funeral. Mary Moore, James. She was sitting in the casket, and everyone at the age of 14, I'm looking around, and everyone's saying, she's gone. And I'm thinking in my head, well, she's there. But what would they really mean? The spirit inside of her is gone. See? And that's what counts, see? See, a lot of times we've heard of people that say, oh, she, she's beautiful, but she has a life. You have a physical body, you have a spiritual body. Just like that physical body has to eat good, guess what? If you feed your physical body junk food all the time, guess what you're going to do? You're going to die. Well, it's the same thing with your the spiritual body. you got to feed it spiritual things. you got to spiritually feed it the truth. See, Yahweh said, John 4 and 24, I am spirit, 
They that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. They didn't tell me that. When I was going out there in the world, they told me I could go to the church of my choice. You know what they did. Mm -hmm. Now, man, you go to the church of your choice. You want to be a Methodist, be a Methodist. You want to be a Catholic, be a Catholic. You want to be a uh, Baptist, be a Baptist. I was all of them. I was Catholic, Baptist, <laughs> Methodist. I was trying them all. Yeah. But what does this say there? John, read it. John 4 and 24. Mm -hmm. No. Um, God is a spirit. That they that worship him must worship him in the spirit and in truth. That's how you gotta worship him. So uh keep for me Thessalonians uh, 5 and 21. So we gotta prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. Right? Is it first so, Thessalonians? Yes, that first Thessalonians 5 and 21. So once we prove it, see we gotta hold on to it. Hold on. <clears throat> We can't be between two opinions because, uh, brother uh, Darren, get for me, uh, Kings eighteen to twenty-one. Because it said there that how long are you going to be between two opinions? If it's Yahweh, then follow Yahweh. If it's Baal, then follow Baal. Now do some research because Baal means the same thing as Lord. It's a Hebrew word for Lord. They didn't teach me how this world. Okay. First Thessalonians 5 and 21. Yes. Prove all things, hold fast to that which is good. Right. Slow. <laughs> no. Fast. Do it fast. Get it done. Don't be slow poking. No. Because people say the end of the age, people have been saying, well, the end of time is coming. People have been saying, well, the end of the world is coming all my life. You know, back in the 60s, we heard the end of the world. I, I, I don't know anything about the 60s. But anyway, the, in the 70s, they say, hey, the uh, end of the world. Okay, 80s, the end of the world. Right? 50s, the end of the world. Well, I'm going to tell you, yes. Each and every one of us have our own world. Yes. You're, you're just like a God. You're a creator. You're, we're, each and every one of us have been made in the image of God. So the end has been coming for a lot of folks. And it's coming for each and every one of us. Because you say, well, the world hasn't ended. Well, once your world ends, it's ended for... <laughs> it's ended. Trust me, okay? So your time is running close. Don't worry about the rest of the folks. Because guess what? The rest of the folks here in a million, they ain't going to give you none of that. Wait, 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 wait. See, you got to worry about Everybody your world. Your world is coming to an end. Mm -hmm. See? You, you got to get it right at the end of this age. See? Because Yahweh said it's without excuse. Seek and you shall find. The truth of what? Set you free. Free from what? Free from all the lies that you've been told. You know what I mean? Let's, let's really look at it. The truth. There, I mean, there was a, and, and I have to say this, but, um, and I'm going to just say it. This is not part of my conversation, but, mm -hmm. you know, we, we're talking about Hebrews. We're talking about a country, a land, where, where, uh, you know, I, I'm just going to tell you, uh, I'm just going to say it like this. There wasn't no white, blue-eyed, blind, hair people in, around uh, that day and age. No. Just, just wasn't there. What, they weren't straight hair. The Bible says itself, you had hair of lamb, wool, lamb, nappy. It was the color of copper. Mm -hmm. Okay? So we've been told a lot of things. It's, it's important for us to get it right. You know what I mean? And, and I'm just going to stop right there. But let's go to Kings 18 and 21. Now behold, no, no. I want it from the scriptures. Okay. 
Yep, I'm sorry. It reads First a little Kings. differently. It reads a little different. Yeah. Okay. Let's get it from the scriptures. First Kings or Second Kings? Second Kings. Second Kings, 18 and 21. Okay. And we do this out of love, guys. We want you to get an understanding. This is profile knowledge. Profile. Yes. 18 and 21. Kings 18 and 21. Mm -hmm. Now behold, thou truest upon the staff of this bruised reed, mm -hmm. even upon Egypt, even on which if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce. So is Pharaoh, king of oh, Egypt. Is that, it might be first Kings. That's not it, is it? It's second Kings uh, 18 and 21. Is that about the how long are you between two opinions? Scripture, see, wherever we see, 
and, and keep following us. We're going to keep meeting that. We, we, we hold classes here at the main library every Sunday, about uh, 2 to 4. So if you want to keep coming, we're downstairs in uh, uh, room A. But we, for Lord, we substitute truly his name, Yahweh. See, Lord is the title. For God, Elohim. And Elohim is the title, the title which means it causes one to exist. See? And, and, and that's his plural title. And then Yahshua, which is Yahweh, Yeshua, meaning salvation. Yahshua, yeah. Yahshua, That's it. And uh, so, keep reading. So First Kings 18.24. Okay. And I will call on the name of Yahweh. Yes. And Elohim that answered by fire. Let him be Elohim. And let him be Lord. Let him be Lord. Uh -huh. And what the King James says, right. let him be God. Or let him be God. And all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. It is well spoken. So they are in agreement. Okay, keep going. And Elohai said unto the prophets of Baal, uh -huh. choose you one bullet for yourselves, and dress it first. Uh -huh. And ye are many. Uh -huh. And call on the name of your God, but put no fire under. Okay. And they took the bullet which was given them, and they dressed it, mm -hmm. and called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, mm -hmm. O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice, nor any that answered. Mm -hmm. And they leaped unto the altar which was made. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass at noon that Eloi mocked them and said, Cry out loud, for he is a God. Either he is talking or he is pursuing. So he kind of making fun of, well, he's, he's busy, he's talking or, you know, just cry out loud. Okay, go ahead. Or he is in a journey, mm -hmm. or a pair of venture, he sleepeth and must be awake. Right. And they cried out loud and cut themselves after their manner with knives and latches mm -hmm. until the blood gushed out unto them, mm -hmm. upon them. Now, let's do this. Uh, give me for uh, Jeremiah 16 and 19. For time's sake, because it was almost 4 o'clock, uh, what happened at the end of the story was this. Uh, the, the fire never came. Okay. And if I oh. And Elijah, see, what he did is he put water on, a, on the wood, soaked it. And then when he called on Yahweh, the fire came and consumed it. Okay, so. Just, just uh, finish reading that scripture on your own, but it is really a good scripture because it just shows you that uh, it is power in that name. And, and like uh, we showed you on the screen, we're going to kind of summarize. Yahweh is uh, mentioned over 6,800 times yes. his name. And it's important. Yes. We've seen a live example right in this Especially the lecture today with uh, Treasure there. That's a, that's a beautiful name. Okay, so let me get uh, Jeremiah 16 and 19. Because uh, this scripture is going to lay it out for you. It's going to tell you what's going on. It's just that simple. Go ahead. Oh Yahweh, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in a day of affliction. Yes. The Gentiles may come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall see, say. See, the Gentiles, and we're all Gentiles. And it's saying that we're all going to come from the ends of the earth. I'm from Michigan. Where are you from? Over there. Parker Chapel, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Where are you from? Huh? Illinois. Illinois. Where are you from? Huh? Far. Far. You scared to say that, huh? Where you from there? Ohio. Okay, right? Michigan. Okay, so we're, we're coming from the ends of the earth. Yes, and sir. guess what is they're going to say? Go ahead, read. And she'll say, surely our fathers have inherited lies. Surely our fathers have inherited lies. That's what the scriptures are saying. I'm not saying it. What lies have we inherited? Wow. What? Ask yourself. What lies have we inherited? Translated and revised. Translated and revised. And we did not get to 
true name. Okay. So we so we're saying this. We're, this is happening. You guys are part of history. Right. You're part of the book. It's happening right now. See? At, in, every, at the end of every age, I always said he's going to send a prophet to, to speak the truth. Mm -hmm. Every age. Every age. Why? Because he said with staring lips in another time shall he speak to his people. Well, why? Don't the sun come up every day? Well, he's going to send a prophet at the end of every age. He's, for those to be saved. You, you have the choice. Either you can make the choice and say, yes, I want to accept this. I'm going to do my due diligence, and it's righteous, and I'm going to stick to it, and I'm going to hang on to it for everything I got. Or you can walk away and say, no, I don't believe it. The choice is yours. I'm just telling you what my choice was. Right. My choice was to grab on and hang on as long as I can. And I'm telling you, uh, just like Mr. Addison told me, he said, son, if you believe in Yahweh, see, if you ask him for a car, then you better go out and build the garage. Because I'm going to tell you something. 23 years ago, me and this man said we're going to retire early and just go around and preach the gospel of the kingdom. And it took 23 years, and that's what exactly we're doing. We're starting a tour from, from here, and we're going to every 52 states. And we're going to broadcast live. See? And we're just going to preach the gospel. There's no intermission. There's no nothing. Just come free, just like James and Peter did. There were two of them, and they just walked. And they said, hey, alms we do not have. But in the name of Yahshua, the Messiah, stand up and walk. Because there's salvation in the name of Yahshua, the Messiah. Right. And, and I'm telling you that uh, this is the truth. And I want to bring it close to the end. And we can shortly after get music. But we'll be having more and more videos. Uh, our web page okay. is Profound Knowledge 101 on Facebook. And... Uh, we encourage and admonish that everyone stay in regular attendance and uh, hopefully we'll start videotaping our Sunday's classes uh, here at the library and uh, we thank everyone for coming and learning of our Heavenly Father and I hope you got an understanding and a higher profound knowledge of your Heavenly Father and how He truly exists. Let us unitedly say, oh, Dawn, you want to get one scripture? Today? I did. I did. Okay, let's do that. John 15 and 16? John 15 and 16. Yes, very good choice. Let's Thank you. Close with this. Yes. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, right. and have ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit, and that fruit shall remain. So that whatsoever ye shall ask of your Father in my name, he may give it to you. That's beautifully spoken, and with that being said, I need not to add anything else. Let us unitedly say, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I did leave it for questions. Any questions? Anybody have any questions? Uh, we're close out. Okay. Love you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, coming. Let's play out. Yeah.